Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to talk about solubility and the born haber cycle and stick around till the end when we explore energy diagrams in the born haber cycle and how it works and everything just stick around till the end to find out how it all works now that we know about solutions now we would look if a solution if a thing is miscible or immiscible because these are the things that will depict if a thing will or won't dissolve to make a homogeneous mixture now a sol a solute part the number of solute particle in a limited given volume will be limited and when all the the limit gets reached we call the mixture saturated there will be no more ions making interactions anymore it's saturated and then there's a thing called super saturated which leaves extra ions than there is it's going from unsaturated to so high that the thing can't be saturated and allow it to cool down to make a an unsaturated a super saturated state now this is a very unstable situation and any sort of interaction can leave a lot of molecules and so this this state is very unstable now if ions can stay in a solid lattice why would they want to get dissolved now in thermodynamics we get more into this subject when we learn about entropy where you, you go from higher order to disorder but we will cover this topic later now all we have to know is that the ion dipole if the ion dipole stores more ener in interaction stores more energy than the lattice energy then the more the interaction would mean that it is soluble then there is the hydration energy which go which spreads out now there are the two types the hydration energy and then there is the lattice energy now calculating these energies is very tricky be to do experimentally so we can do it indirectly by the thing we've been waiting for and what's in the title of the video the born haber cycle Now we have this energy dry diagram here. This shows the heat and this shows the delta H for the energy gaps. Now what we can do about this is make it evaporate using more delta H. Heating it up. 107 kilojoules per mole evaporating the molecule and turn it into an ion I don't really have much space on the top but using more delta H we get through sodium ion that is gaseous and 
chlorine gas and we go through until we get down to both being ionic. So this has been until here. Now this gap is the lattice energy and this is the hydration energy. Now if the hydration energy is greater than the lattice energy then it will probably be soluble and with that that's pretty much how the Born-Haber cycle works. So so this is the just the basic few kilojoules per mole database and so that's all there is to it thank you for watching oh and also you can check out this diagram to see if there are solubles and insolubles and everything and thank you for watching remember to subscribe to the channel and leave and ring that notification bell so that you get notified on every video i make and you can like this video you can share it to other people or if you have other friends confused on this subject or is learning this subject they could really do with the video and if you and thank you and leave a comment down thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye